So, um, I have two new things. I'm going to review one of them because, uh, one of them is not worth reviewing. Um, I got a sweatshirt. <sighs> Same, I don't, it's not really a brand. It's a man who does news and the news he does, um, he comes up with certain slogans and terms and shit and, um... One of this, this is one of them, Emotionally Exhausted. Um, and I bought another one. Now, the story with this one, there's always a story with something that I have. Uh, I ordered it, and I said I wanted a sweatshirt, because you can put a little note in the thing. Um, now, it was kind of like a random thing, so you don't really have to... You're not going to get what you ask for. Um, but it's still kind of, I don't know, you know, just why not, you know? Why not try? Um... And I said I wanted a sweatshirt, and then I read the thing after I ordered it. It was like, sweatshirts, hoodies, and, like, shirts and shit. And I was like, oh, my God. Because I wanted a hoodie. Because I thought I had stained this one really badly. Turns out I didn't, um, which is really nice. So, all in all, it might have been a waste of money. But, $30, I think, well spent. Um, I got a new sweatshirt out of it. And so, here it is. It is... Holy shit. Um, okay, first of all go away it has this on it and then um yeah and then it on the sides it has is not done uh, basically it has what on the side what it had on the front um yes uh independent training all right cool a new sweatshirt to add to my collection i have so many sweatshirts i'm um, not really actually i have three actual sweatshirts with this type of material and then one of them is like a sports sweatshirt um and i don't count that as a sweatshirt i count that as a sports sweatshirt so whatever um but yeah i'm very excited about it um uh, i'm very glad they actually sent this because i did not want to sweat her a sweat <sighs> sweatshirts hoodies i don't I, I I always I always use sweatshirt as hoodie when I was growing up, so I never said hoodie. I said sweatshirt, and everybody knew what I was talking about. A shirt with a hoodie, but uh, I guess there's a difference. Um, so I'll be careful next time. I got lucky this time. Uh, but yeah, that's really that's really all I got. Um, I got a new lens for my camera that I will probably try to start using. This camera's janky as fuck. It's either the camera or the lens, but the lens it comes with, it like, I don't, I don't like it at all. But, uh, yeah. Uh, things that have been going on, I started watching Justice League, the cartoon one that happened when I was a kid. Um, love it. Love the show. The Flash is hilarious. The dialogue between the characters is great. Hawk Girl and Green Lantern is... It's such a, they have such a grown-up relationship. It's not dumbed down, either. Um, there's a line in the show, they're talking, Green Lantern goes back in time to the 50s, and he's talking to the superheroes that he used to read comic books about, and one of the lines is, from the superhero in the 50s, was, you make your people look good, and, you know, as a kid, you wouldn't catch that ever, but as an adult, I catch it, because it's the 50s, white people think that black people are like, ah, um, well, it's a lot more than that, but, um, they're getting, they're getting along, and so when a white person would say, meet a nice black person, they'd say, oh, you make all black people look good. So that's a very cool adult thing to catch in a kid's TV show. And I wish more parents, I just, I just wish more parents were, like, more into watching their kids' cartoons. I know it seems silly as fuck, but I think if they watch them, especially things like that, which I don't even think they make shit like that anymore. Um, all they make are dirty jokes now, which is, like, funny, um, but I'd rather have something that, like, speaks to the time, like, the old times, rather than, like, a bunch of dirty jokes. Dirty jokes are fine, but I'd rather have something more substantive, uh, but yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, mm.